hi guys welcome back so it's another video it's another video and it's another video in my yay on a playlist so this series i had the opportunity to watch the pilot before it premiered go me go me so then i'm going to give you like a review of this show and whether or not you should watch it so is it a yay or a nay so my name is if i subscribe to my channel and then you get into the show so the name of the show is called the good doctor and it's based on a, Co a south korean series of the same name that was done in 2013 so this show is set to premiere on september 25th on abc so i had a chance to watch the pilot and I have some thoughts about the show like about the pilot so heading into the show i have some thoughts about so the it. show follows sean murphy who is an autistic person and also has savant syndrome so that makes him a next level sort of genius right and it follows like his trials and like what he goes through whilst being a doctor in this very ultra busy hospital so the show opens with some high management doctors discussing whether or not he should be accepted to be a doctor based on the fact that he has autism so after I finish watching the pilot, this show has this very feel-good thing about it. Like, it makes you connect to the protagonist of the show. Because Sean Murphy, as an autistic person, you know, his earnestness, his honesty, his drive to do what's right. Like, being a doctor. Because he's very unassuming. And when I found out that he's actually, like, a doctor in the other way, and he has autism too. So, this show is, like, kind of, like... Uh, a beacon of hope for everybody that has like autism anybody that has like one disability or one disorder or the other to like to show that even with even with whatever you have you can still strive and still aim to be successful so this show is actually looking at how even though he has autism he's able to relate to the people around him because he his he's a he's a great doctor but then he feels in communicating to other people so that is like one of like the things that are going to be explored how he being a great doctor and, and at the same time not being able to communicate is going to like come together and you know there'll be certain drawbacks to it because he has to communicate his intentions or to communicate with the other patients but then at the same time he's not able to put all his thoughts or articulate it how it should be done so my first thought of watching the pilot is that it's going to be a great show like it's going to be one of the shows that are going to be like a surprise of like surprise of this season but the one thing i did not like about the show was that they, they didn't use an autistic person to like they didn't cast an autistic person for this role because i get it they have to find someone else but at the same time it brought to mind the fact that they'll cast like it brought to mind the situation of casting a non-black person to play a black role because if you watch speechless which is also on abc uh, the, the person that's playing JJ has cerebral palsy, the same as the character. So they're able to get someone who has cerebral palsy to play the role in the show. So I thought that's what they were going to do in the show. That the fact that they're going to bring an autistic person to actually play the autistic doctor. So that's like one of my huge drawbacks about the show. Because like it's a great show, but there was a real opportunity to put in that person and then just bring the role to life. But I don't know maybe I the person playing it Freddie Heimer is great if you've seen Bates Motel you know that he was great in it so it's it's okay like it's cool like apart from that I think that's like my only itch with it because it's like it's the same I have the same feeling like if I was watching like a show that's supposed to be black people and I see a white person I'm like wait what's a white person doing this show that's how I'm sure a lot of autistic people are going to feel about it the fact that they didn't cast someone who is actually autistic to play this role so that's all i'm going to say about it but the show is very good i like the fact that for once the autistic person or for one the person that has the disability is in the driver's seat like everything revolves around him and how he impacts all the characters and not he being a secondary character or like a character that people forget about because you know most of the time most of these shows when there's someone who has a disability he becomes like a secondary character so it's what others do affect him but for this show is what he does that affects the people around him so it's a great show i'll say kudos to the people doing it because i'm not but i'm not a fan of medical shows like Grey's anatomy chicago med scrubs er i've never liked medical shows because i i don't know i have a complex around them but i'd actually tune in to watch the show because i want to see where they go with the story because the his story is as much important as the medical side of it and it's really interesting that you know they do this little 
explanations of the medical terms and I, I found some new medical terms that I'll be throwing around a lot more or not but will I, is this show a yay or a nay? It's a great yay. Like I give this show thumbs up. Out of 10, I'll give it an 8. I'll give it a solid 8 because it's really great. Like it's one of those shows that you watch that will surprise you but then you still be drawn into Sean Murphy's story, Dr. Murphy's story. So that's it for this that's it for this video this is a short intro to the show so the show is great it has a diverse cast so i mean in this age of 2017 diversity is still winning so hey no but about the show it's a great show i hope to see that it improves as the episodes go along so i'm hoping to watch i'm, I'm waiting for the premiere with everybody but from watching the pilot it's a great show and i'll see you on my next video check out my other videos whilst you are here you know, you should just check it out. It won't hurt. And my name is Ifala. Be thanks for watching this and video. Follow me on my social media account and let's talk further about it.